And in Lahato, a farming community in the Nanumba South District of the Northern Region, students travel almost 10 kilometers daily to attend junior high school in Chichagi. This, this trainer's journey leaves them feeling exhausted and sleepy during lessons, a situation that is a worry to teachers, parents and residents. Our Northern Regional Correspondent, Muhammad Aminu Emma Labira, provides more details in this report. Access to education is a fundamental right for every Ghanaian, regardless of their location. However, for the peoples of Lato, a community in the overseas area of Nanumba Sub District, assessing education feels like a punishment. The community has only a three unit classroom block that accommodates students from class one to three. Teachers who do not reside in the community have to cross the Oti River daily in canoes to reach Lato. Students must travel nearly 10 kilometers from Lato to Chichage to attend junior high school. City News returning from Zabzugu observed many students walking along the road. When approached, the students said they walk to school every day, arriving tired and struggling to concentrate in class. They are appealing for a junior high school in their community. I'm coming for Lato. I raise your head and look at her. You are coming from Lato and going to school where? Chichagi. Chichagi. How do you go to school? We, we, we are walking. You walk all yes. the way from Lato to Chichagi, over 10 kilometers? Yes, sir. Hey, so tell me, how do you, when you walk that way to school, how do you cooperate? How do you stay in the classroom? If I went to school, mm -hmm. I, if a teacher is in the class, mm -hmm. if he's teaching, I can't listen to him mm -hmm. so that I'll sleep. That thing cannot be in my head. We are feel tired mm -hmm. every day, every morning we will work. But we, we need Jesus in our community. Okay. okay. So when you walk to the classroom and walk back home, how do you feel in the house? We feel tired. We can't do anything at home. Some students who have bicycles find their journey somewhat easier, but still complain about the distance. If you ride the bicycle, go to cha cha, you tired. Mm -hmm. So if the bicycle is poor, you walk to cha cha. You cannot do anything again. You tired, very, very tired. And the teachers are good, but how you walk to the um, teacher, that's the problem. Community members are also concerned about the distance the children must travel and have joined the call for a proper school in Lato. We don't have a modernized primary school. Not, not a talk of JHS. We don't have JHS at all. Uh, the classrooms that we have here ranges from P1 to P3, meaning we don't have P4 up to P6. So our students over here walk distance from the village here to the nearby village, that is Chicha, to attend GHS. So we are appealing to the government to come to our aim, the people of Lato, provide them GHS and the primary school. And I think one of the reasons why the primary school that we even have here is not functioning is that the teachers don't have teachers' quarters. So if the government is making an appeal, uh, this is providing us the school, they should make sure that they provide a very modernized teachers' quarters. Over 10 kilometers from Lato to Chichage is not a small journey. And they tell me that they always walk to school on foot. There is no JSS at Lato, and they have to walk all the way to Chichage. Uh, the closest place could have been maybe Bangdili going, but the river over there too is another issue. They can't cross. They are appealing to the authorities or to GES to consider giving them a junior high school at Lato. For City News, Mohammed Aminu M. Alabira.